This is DG Vision Network. Galaxy Blackbone is an agency under the Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy laden with the responsibility to operate a nationwide IP-based network that will provide a common platform for all connectivity and other infrastructure services for all government ministries, departments and agencies. We have live on the show today the MD CEO, Mohamed Bello Abubakar. Welcome to the show, Pro. <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh... How would you describe the outgoing year? How tough or how easy has it been for you at Galaxy Park Bull? I consider the 2021 as a consolidation year for Galaxy. We started in 2020. That was when I was appointed to the, be the managing director of Galaxy Park Specifically, I think on the second January of uh, 2020, and uh, we all know about the situation uh, as it was in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic that disrupted almost everything. The normal way we have been doing things were completely disrupted, and ultimately we had to innovate ways and then we'll make it possible for government businesses and all other businesses to continue. So basically, the year of 2020 is trying to uh, somehow experiment on different ways. Mm. Different things have to be done so that uh, uh, we can get back to where we are, uh, we are supposed to be. So uh, 2020 has come and gone. And uh, now we are at the tail end of 2021. So what I consider the 2021 was more or less a consolidation of all those things that we've started before in 2020. What would you say are the major gains and lessons learned? Obviously there are. There are major gains made. Uh, from whatever perspective you have looked at it. You can look at it from the security perspective. You can look at it from the economic perspective. You can look at it from, from, from different, uh, the health perspective, okay, trying to curtail and uh, be able to somehow, uh, that is curtail particularly the COVID-19 itself. From the economic perspective, the fact that uh, now you don't have physical meetings, you know, for you to have a physical meeting, maybe perhaps traveling may be involved. Mm -hmm. And when you are in the meeting, there will be some refreshment. There will be some money that is supposed to be paid as DTA. There are this and this and this. All this, and then there is also the security along the road. When you are traveling from one place to another, the security component is there. The, it's possible that anything can happen along the road. So all these things were drastically minimized through virtual meetings. And uh, I have to tell you that uh, from some of the statistics we have, the government saved over 3 billion Naira, okay, on, uh, because of the, 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 the virtual meetings that uh, somehow the COVID-19 came up with and of course Galaxy facilitated. That is that component. In terms of your mandate, interagency engagement and stakeholders collaboration, how much success would you say you've achieved? Uh, truly, we, we have um, a serious understanding from the MDAs, that is the ministry's department and agencies. Uh, Galaxy, since inception, has been battling, actually, uh, with... Um, making it possible for these MDAs to buy into what Galaxy is supposed to do. You know, Galaxy was established to save cost for the government, to offer shared services, okay? Uh, uh, you know, before, the MDAs had been operating in silos. 
and every MDA always have a particular budget for their ICT. So the, the, the coming in of the galaxy is, or the establishment of the galaxy was to m provide a platform that will make it possible for all the MDAs now to have a shared service. For example, if you look at, for example, the data center, data center will need some cooling system, will need power, will need everything. So Galaxy is established to come up with now this particular data center where all the MDAs now will key into than for them to go and also have their own different data centers. In terms of maintenance, they will spend more. In terms of even the capex trying to put in this thing, uh, infrastructure, they will spend and all other things. So if you have a kind of a shared platform, it will save cost. And that is the whole idea. So what are the plans and roadmap for next year, 2022? Thank you very much. Uh, and I think uh, you are asking this question that uh, the question is very apt. Uh, we have in this interview here in Lagos, not in Abuja where my office is seated. We came to Abuja for a management retreat. Uh, and um, specifically that management retreat is on strategy. We already developed a strategy for Galaxy Backbone, a strategy we call uh, Business Strategy 3.0. And uh, it is supposed to be, it is supposed to, it has a, a time span of uh, 2020 to 2025. That is it's five years. So we have that business strategy, okay, in place. And now we came here to Abuja because we are already end of 2021 to conceptualize and give a direction as to what we need to do for the 2021. So that is the whole reason why we are here. And for the last three days, since Monday and today is Wednesday, we have been brainstorming on what is supposed to be the direction. Vis-a-vis -vis the Galaxy 3.0 uh, strategy, what do we need to do for the 2022? So, and uh, I have to tell you that uh, uh, the direction is so clear, we're able to come up with uh, very clear directions as to what we need to do. And I have to tell you that uh, the next year, uh, 2022, the story will be much more different in terms of advancement. All right, thank you very much, Professor Mohammed Bello of Galaxy. This is DG Vision Network.